In this video, I'm going to be covering how ticket custom fields work. So to start, I'll go ahead and create a new ticket. And then pull up the customer force. Create ticket. Now you'll see there are some default fields here. Uh, this includes, of course, ticket title, problem type, which are customizable, and of course the description, among some other things. Now, a lot of shops will want to capture additional information depending on the check-in, whether they want to capture password information, uh, serial numbers, uh, etc. So for that, we have custom fields here. Now I'll go ahead and manage them before filling out this ticket. So first, I'm going to make a custom field type. Think of this as a container that your actual fields will be living under. So for example, if you're doing computer repair and cell phone repair, you could have one custom field type for computer check-ins and then one custom field type for uh, cell phone check-ins. And when you create a new ticket, you can select either and it'll apply the custom field set to the ticket. So first I'll make that what I refer to as a container. And I'm going to name that new computer check-in. Once I have that container, I'll click into it to manage the fields. And here's where I'm actually adding the custom fields that I want to see on the ticket when I select new computer check-in. I'll click new field here. First, I'll want to capture password, text field. I'll keep it required. You also have the ability to hide this from the printed uh, or emailed PDF if you want to. Good for more sensitive information. So now the password text field is there. The other I want is operate rating system. And for that, I'm actually going to do a drop down for consistency. I'll just add a couple as examples. create the ticket field here. So that's good. Now I have my drop down. Last I'll just MOB checkbox. So I'll say uh, charger. If I wanted to know if the customer left a charger and I will not keep that required. No special characters. Okay, so now my new computer check-in has these three custom fields that will be applied to tickets when I select this. Now, since I only have one, which uh, is pretty common, um, I won't have to select it every time I make a new ticket, as I'll show you right now. So we'll go back to tickets and recreate one. New ticket, I'll apply it to the same customer. Spin. Now you'll see automatically, since I only have that one custom field set, they appear here. If I were to create another one, say for cell phone repair, there would be a drop down here where I could select which to apply. I'm going to approve the work, fill these out, Windows XP, check the box, create ticket. Oh, I forgot the standard fields. Uh, bad, PC, jack, problem type, hardware, ticket custom fields. Now I can create the ticket. Skip the intake form here. And now if you scroll down, you'll see that the custom field information is in the additional information tile on the ticket. And if we were to make a PDF, get custom fields, initial problem type, and then those are also included here. Windows XP, password, charger. Reference another way to get to ticket custom fields if you need to edit them later. You can go over to admin here, open up in a new tab. Scroll down to the ticket section and you'll see ticket custom fields, which will bring you back to that main page where we added in the first place. And then after you add them initially, if you need to go back and edit something, you can always go, maybe that was not true and they actually had Windows 7. And that's it. That's how Ticket Custom Fields work. 
There is also the ability to add uh, customer custom fields. That's covered in the customer custom fields uh, knowledge base article. If you want to give that a search, we'll cover that as well. All right. Thanks for watching.